What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dre the Believer back again with another banger video for you today, baby. And this one, man, we got the most satisfying video. We react to it, as a matter of fact. The most satisfying video, we react to it. Personally, my opinion, bro. My opinion. It was, it was pleasant. It was some of the stuff I was just like, whoa, hey, yo. I could never. That kind of like scared me a little bit, but supposed to be the most satisfying video but some parts were very very satisfying if you guys enjoy these type of videos be sure to leave a like comment subscribe to the channel let me know if you guys want to see more of these type of videos on the YouTube channel man I want to bring something different to the gaming channel I don't just want to do Call of Duty content for you guys I also want to bring reaction videos or reaction videos um, uh, Gaming, of course, gaming videos, right? But story gameplay, th things of that nature, and just different content all around. And um, I just want to be different, guys. So let me know what you guys think about this video. Uh, also, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Do that for me. And without further ado, you already know how we get down over here, baby. Say it with me. Self-love is the best love. If you can't love yourself, you can't love anybody else. And don't forget to keep who? Keep the Lord first place in your life. Seek Him and seek the kingdom. And as always, if nobody hasn't told you they love you, I love you guys, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Dang, bro. We in here. We in this. You feel me? We doing our thing. We, we're going to do some camo grinding today. We're looking at the most satisfying videos right now. We're going to do that. We're going to look at the most satisfying videos. Um, thank you so much for the follow, brother. Um, how you doing? How's your New Year's? Um, how'd you find us? Let me know where you came from. Tell me how you how you doing today, man. How's your day going, bro? While some people are looking Let's for look a at perfect this, job, others are learning how to do their current jobs to perfection. It you belong to then it's time Oops, to watch some workers done, like, doing their jobs perfectly to find out but first subscribe to the channel it. and click the bell then you'll get a boat i wonder if there's copyright i hope there ain't copyright look at how this team of cleaners works together like mm. a well-oiled machine and cleans the floor with the speed bro that's crazy i wonder if they like literally train to do that to go back for a second bro break, so he grabs all how do you get all that on your head, though? Like, somebody explain to me, how does that work, bro? How do you get that all on your head, bro? Like, how does that, how does that uh, even happen? How does your dome, how did you get that all that stuff on the top of your dome, bro? Like, I'm so confused on how he's doing, how he's walking while that. I wonder how much each one of those things weigh. This is probably like 50 pounds a piece, bro. 50 pounds a piece. Like literally, and I haven't been. Oh, and also, and also another thing. Don't, bro. Bro's a uh, bro knows knows my old name. I literally haven't been called Zoo Up in a long time. That's the old name, bro. I'm ready to believe her now, but yeah, I feel it though. He know the old name. But what's up with you? Don't, yes sir. All the contents of the van. Try to count the number of bags he's carrying and write the answer in the comments. You don't have to dry out the work site for this excavator operator because he is the Bro, is king he in the water, rabbit. dude? Bro. Heck no, nah, dude. Bro, how is he in the machine still and it's still working and it's in the water? I didn't know that these things can be in the water like that, bro. Like I would be kind of scared if they would go in the water. I would be, wouldn't be even in that thing, bro. That's ridiculous. How are you going to get out? You're going to have to swim to get out. That sucks, honestly. If I were him, I would definitely work in my swim shorts. If I was him, I wouldn't even be in that thing. Perfectly should be the new standard of smoothness. Ah, uh, that's satisfying, bro. How do you do that? I wonder how somebody does that. And now let's see how a machine does it. Who's is better? Cast your vote in the comments. I mean, the machine's nice too. It does the same thing. This man can easily handle a load of 19 bricks weighing 66 and a half kilograms on his head. Meanwhile, you're whining about your 50 kilogram wife hanging around your neck. Seriously? You'll never guess what this truck is carrying. That's a crazy. 40 meter blade from a windmill. This Bro. This guy was told to unload some pipes, but no one gave him Wait instructions. Wait a minute. So 
from a windmill. Bro, how much is he getting paid to carry that, bro? Like, I don't think I could do that. I honestly don't think I could, like, drive a truck that's carrying that long, giant blade on it. Like, bro, you make one mistake. And look how narrow this hill is. You make one mistake, bro, you're gone. You're done. You're done. Like, literally, you're done. That's probably, like, half a million dollars right there on that truck. You're done. And they're probably not getting paid that much. If they are getting paid that much... They're getting paid a lot of money just to move this one this item, bro. That is real. Look at this. Look at how big that piece, that one piece is, bro. It's one piece, bro. Up from an AliExpress. I couldn't this do it. This guy was told to unload some pipes, but no one gave him instructions, so he improvised. Billy Jean is not my lover. She's just a girl who thinks that I am the one. This worker has one job, launching a 20,000 ton ship on the water. Wait, what? Bro, is that how they l put him into the water? Wait a minute. I didn't know that. Is that really how they put him into the water? That's crazy, bro. That's wild. I did not know that. A thousand ton ship on the water. So, like, they pull it up on the thing, and there's, like, little rolling things, and it just rolls into the water on its own. If ninjas peeled cauliflower, this man would be their teacher. What is that? Cabbage? Oh, he's just chopping, <laughs> chop, 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 chop. Chop, chop, Want to know chop. what this pro is doing right now? What is that, bro? He m preparing the asphalt. Wait a minute, no. Back. Look. Preparing the asphalt. Sorry, y'all. Let me go back one more time. Preparing bro, the asphalt for a compaction. Uh, know what this pro is doing right now? Bro, you mess up one time doing what he doing. <laughs> Your whole body gonna be on fire, bro. If he just like go oh, just one. One, 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 one turn, bro. Just one turn. Oh, 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 oh. And you'd be on fire and you'd be, bro. Ah, bro, nah, bro. No, mm -mm. You make one mistake, bro. And he over here, sh 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 just flinging it around like it's a yo yo, bro. Like, I'm confused. Like, what? I can't do it, bro. One mistake, dog. This is one mistake, and you're done. This is pretty much it. One mistake, bro. One mistake. I couldn't do that. I couldn't. I couldn't imagine. Mm. Preparing mm -hmm. the asphalt for a compaction. Bro, you know he a pro. I can't do. He did that so smooth. Look at how flawlessly this guy does his job with his right hand and still uses his left hand to check for mistakes without even waking up. Bro, that's skills. After they're done with this rod. Why are you not investing in tax? Why is there an ad no, here? What are we doing? Why are you not investing into one of the... Why are you... gonna go hammer a dirt block. I thought for sure these guys were making something for Lord of the Rings. I can't do Oh, that's how they really make fences, bro? I did not know that. That's crazy. Bro, I hope... I wonder, like... You know, honestly, bro? That's amazing. That's crazy. They pour it into sand. And then... Because sand can't burn. Because sand is basically like glass. Pretty much. And, um... But, uh... What you call it? That's crazy, though. I did not know that. And it creates the metal fence. The work itself isn't the hardest part of the job for this. Never, group. bro. It's dismantling the scaffolding. And Never, bro. Never, bro. Never. Nope, not me. I wouldn't be up there. I don't care how much money you paying me. Nope. 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 No. No. It wouldn't. I wouldn't be. Up, I wouldn't be on that scaffold. I know that much. I wouldn't even be up there. You see how high they are, bro? You see you see that? Bro, they like they see ants, bro. They better be getting paid bank to do this right now, bro. I mean bank. When I say bank, I mean they be they better be um give me a number. I uh, I'ma say I need at least seventy dollars an hour to be doing this, bro. No cap. I'm not capping. This guy has found a unique way of making money without even looking up from his favorite apple. 
friends call him Wise Shoulder Jeff. This is why the generation that grew up on Tetris is way cooler than the one that grew up on Minecraft. So, uh, how do they get out of the cabs? Think this guy's an idiot for spending the whole morning setting up these bricks? Well, watch to the end and you'll see what a genius he actually is. Is that part of the style or what? Oh, that was baller. That's baller. I was about to say. Want to know how to earn $40,000 and work just two days a year? Every six months, climber Kevin Schmidt climbs to the top of a 457 meter television tower to change the light. Wait, what? He climbs to the top of a 457 meter television tower and work just two days a year. Every six months, climber Kevin Schmidt climbs Every to the top six of a 457 meter He works only two two days out of the year. Is it two? Television tower to change the year. Every six months. Want to know right. how to earn $40,000 and work just two days a year? Only two days. He goes to work two days of the out of the year, bro. Out Every of the year. six months, climber Kevin Schmidt climbs to the top of a 457 meter television tower to change the light bulb. That sounds like the easiest money in the world, but still won't catch me up there. $40,000, 40, $40, bro. Bro, honestly, you only work two times out of the year. That sounds like an ideal job, bro. That's a lineman job, though, probably. I don't know what the rules and regulations is for this. And I don't know what else you would have to do when he's up there. They say just to change the light bulb, but I'm pretty sure there's more to it than that. Because if anything goes wrong with that light bulb, if the light bulb's not working, you're going to have to change the plug. You're going to have to do some other stuff to fix it, right? And uh, and I'm pretty sure whatever the time of the year, six months out of the year, you only do it twice, right? So you only go to work twice. So you're going to have to do this another time. So it, depending on what type of weather, it might be raining, stuff like that. And you have to climb up that thing and the wind is blowing, bro. I don't know how high he's in the air. That's out of pocket, bro. That's not, that's not me, bro. I don't want to do that. I, there's no ladder up there, bro. Literally, there's no ladder up there, bro. No ladder. What up, man? What you doing? Yeah, I did call you. I was calling to see what you was doing. Oh, okay, bro. Well, just call me back when you're done. All right. All right. All right, go. Uh, yeah, where was I? Yeah, bro. This man is this, bro. This man is this high in the air, bro. Like, honestly, dog, I'm confused, bro. Like, what is going on right here? Like, this is ridiculous. Like, honestly, the amount of ridiculousness in this is, is I don't know, 40,000. You only making 40,000 for two trips? But you made 40,000 40, off rip real quick. But what I think actually happens and what goes down is they'll probably give you 20,000 just to do this one job. And then you get another job at the end of the year to do another another, another job. And you can get another 20,000. So all together you make $40,000. Um. And you you use that money to survive throughout the year, but you only get and bring home forty grand, but it's in a large lump sum, so it's better than than not. Does that make sense? If I got forty thousand dollars in one lump sum, it would be worth it, low key. But then I still have to go climb that tower, and when within a year, but I would be doing this full time though. Full time, I would be doing this, and then I'd be like, all right, guys, this day I gotta go out and go climb that tower. That'd be lit. Um, but yeah, I don't know though, man. I'm I don't like heights that much. Yeah, oh, still out of pocket. If I had known that cleaning a fence could be so easy, I wouldn't have wasted a year promising my girlfriend that I'd get around to it. 
Is that a power blaster? This current is powerful enough to level an entire city, but not enough to take out this determined driver and his 10 ton truck. Bro, what is he? What? Someone must have really needed those. Weapons. I am literally confused. What's heavier, a kilogram of steel or a kilogram of styrofoam? Well, it doesn't matter when this worker can stack styrofoam in such symmetrical stacks. Bro, one mistake, bro. That's all it takes. One mistake. You get knocked out by styrofoam. <laughs> you gonna die to styrofoam, bro. Literally. Such a huge structure. Wrong. Just one when the pros do it. Bro, that's a little. Oh my gosh. What? Bro, that's a little ton ball. It just says smack. Hit the wall and it just dropped that thing, bro. That's ridiculous. It literally leveled the whole thing, bro. Told him not to throw food, and this is what came of it. First, try Bruh. to how many bricks this guy's I feel it. And then answer the most important question. How are they staying on his back? How many people does it take to cover a 25 meter perfectly round grain bin pad with concrete? Just 11, but they're fully in sync. That's dope. I've seen such a lazy shark. Hey, this isn't a buffet. Watch how these fearless workers climb nearly 300 meter high power lines. I'm not doing that. You're 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 smoking. You're smoking big fat ones. Nope, not I. I what? No. What do they do when they have to go to the bathroom? This is how wind farm generators are assembled 123 meters in the air. How do you get off of that? How long does it take you to gut a fish? Bro, I'm not doing none of that, bro. Ten seconds. Makes my butt clench when I see height like somebody standing up high like that. In Cairo, it only takes one person to deliver a whole batch of fresh bread from the bakery directly to the store. Are you serious? Bro got bread on his head, bro. Bro, you make one mistake, dog. All these people. Bro makes one mistake, dog, and he's done for, dog. Like, honestly, no cap. Let, let's go back. Bro is riding a bike, bro, and he got that whole rack on his head, bro. He make one mistake, bro. Bread is done. Bread is gone. He gone. The person going to have bread all over their car. And it's just going to be a bad day, bro. Like, honestly, this is going to be a bad day, dog. Like, and I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about that, bro. Nothing harder than tearing a sticker off a package is keeping up with this guy as he puts them on. Mm -mm -mm. You'll never guess how Vietnamese tactical teams use bamboo in their work. Are you serious? Is that really how they get up there? Mopping the lawn? Oh, they're actually tamping down the artificial grass with sand to make it look like the real thing. Oh, wow. And now, for the first time, you're going to see the most effective method of catching tuna in the world. Try to count how many fish they catch in five seconds. Bro, where are they at? Imagine how many they get in an hour. Anyone who's afraid of roller coasters should definitely not get in this guy's car. Nope. Nope. I'm not getting in that helicopter. How does he not get sick? Mankind is the minute he did that whole flip, I'm saying let me out of the helicopter. But no one told that to get me out. In southern India with nothing but a hammer and a chisel. Bruh. What the freak? Get ready, because you've never seen a more satisfying parking lot in your life. Oh my goodness, bro. What is going down here? Oh my. How? 
How are you gonna get that in there? There's literally no way. What? Always work smarter. Wow. You got it in there. This chef found a way to cook corn chips for the whole city at once. He always be making some satisfying stuff. I ain't gonna lie. As long as hungry camels don't follow the smell. Honestly, this operator demolishes a building with an excavator bucket more tenderly than my mother used to cover me with a blanket. Oh, look how smart that is. Very technical. He's very uh, professional with it. He knows what he's doing. With that uh, backhoe. Save a ship from flooding. Just give this guy you. some time. Toby has courts for every hole. What do the horses from Skyrim and excavators in the real world have in common? They are immune to gravity. I can't deal. No, they did not just compare Skyrim to that, bro. Set this up, but I'm prepared to wait as long as it takes if it means I can have this at my next party. That's literally dope. That's honestly dope. Probably took forever to do that. This is one of the largest loads in the world. What is that? Nuclear reactor weighing 1,048 tons, and it was transported using two hydraulic trailers and ten prime movers. I'm still afraid to transport my bike on the roof of my car. You won't believe how these giant cables are made. This guy manually bends dozens of them into one big one. Bruh. What could be more difficult than landing a helicopter on the deck of a ship during a storm? Try that next time you lose control. <laughs> Bro, nope. You're not fun. Get out. <laughs> Bro, no! Bro, no, get out, no, bro, <laughs> bro, the minute, the minute, bro, the minute, the minute, I'm like, this is me, bro, the minute, this is, this is me, bro, <laughs> you saw, you saw what old boy did when he, like, when he took off in the plane, the helicopter did a, a, a 360, he said, oh, hey, hey, man, I'm gonna I'm a fly, man, I'm gonna fly, I'm gonna get up out of here, man. Nah, bro. I would have been like, get out, bro. Get off. Get out the helicopter. You're not flying nothing. You're not. You're not going nowhere. Look at him. He said, "Oh snap! Hey, yo!" I bet he was scared as mug. Like, bro, stop! Don't, don't do it. Don't. I would be like, get out the helicopter. Turn it off. Turn it off. I would have been like, I would have been so hot. I would have been like, bro, you don't need to go nowhere. Literally. Man, that could have been bad, bro. He could have got hit by the helicopter, chopped his whole leg off, bro. Those propellers are going so fast, bro. It'll chop your arm off so fast, it's not even funny. Um, literally, you'll be done, Dada. Are you serious? It pulled the whole roots out. Doesn't matter at all if it's in the hands of a professional. Using an ordinary hammer, this scientist retrieves a sample of 1,000 degrees Celsius lava as if it were melted cheese. I don't know what's more impressive, the size of that thing or this guy's trimming skills. That's satisfying. Yes. Give it a nice haircut. That's a great haircut. Look at that. We need him for beers, bro. No cap.